Hello friends, welcome to a digital blogger. Today we are reviewing IIFL or India Info Line, a prominent full service store broker in India. In this review, we will be talking about the company background, pricing, exposure, trading platforms, customer service, trading products, some positives and negatives of opening an account with IFL. Let's get started. We'll start with the company overview. IIFL is a full service stock broker and was first established in the year 1995. Today they have presence in 900 cities of India. We're talking about metro cities, second year, third year, fourth year cities. Especially in North India, they've got huge presence. As far as uh, locations are concerned, they've got around 4,000 sub broker and franchise offices across India. It is known for high tech trading platforms. So, in case you are looking for a top class performance uh, trading platforms, IFL has something to offer for you, especially their mobile app. And as far as brokerage is concerned, it really depends on the kind of preferences you have. They've got multiple options for you. We will be talking about that later. If we talk about the trading products, so they've got uh, an array of those. Uh, you can invest and trade across equity, commodity, currency, derivatives, IPOs. Mutual funds, mutual funds probably is an indirect way, but there is a provision. Insurance, fixed deposits, home, personal loans, NCDs, bonds, there are other as well, but we have mentioned few of them. So as far as trading and investment products are concerned, you will get a huge variety from IIFL. If you talk about trading platforms, one of the most important criterions when it comes to selecting a particular stock broker, they've got a web-based application, they've got terminal-based softwares, and they've got a mobile app as well. Let's talk about that in detail. So we are using our blogger.com for reference here. In terms of trading platforms, uh, as we discussed, there are multiple sort of options for you. IIFL Trader Terminal is the terminal based software. It gives you multiple features such as real time market information. It's known for its security. So authentication is also a good factor. Performance and speed level also irrespective of the kind of internet connection you are using, you will get a decent user experience. And since IIFL is a full service store broker, they will provide you access to recommendations, trading calls, market reports and a lot of other things so all in all it's a good performing high performance trading platform uh, for your usage then we have IIFL markets which is the mobile app uh, from IIFL at erdistroblogger.com we have a dedicated review done for IIFL markets so this is that particular page you will be able to find detailed information about it as far as Google Play Store reference is concerned the app has been installed by 5 lakh to 10 lakh people the app is a bit bulky at 40 MB and if you look at the negative percentage score it is around 7.5 percent so overall satisfaction score is around 92.5 which is also good the app is rated at 4.3 by around uh, 19,000, 20,000 users. So it's a good sample size. In fact, a very good sample size so can be trusted uh, to an extent. When we had a word with some of the clients of IFL using mobile app of uh, India Infoline, some of the concerns were raised. Those concerns were around the new update. So whenever IFL comes with a new patch or a new update on top of their mobile app, there are some concerns seen uh, most of the times. And you will find some concerns while updating your password or logging into the application. The app might actually log you out after a span of 15-20 minutes if you are regularly into the mobile app. Though there are few concerns, there are intermittent issues, they are not seen every time. But some of the clients have seen these concerns and faced uh, these issues by themselves. If you look at Google Play Store page of uh, IFL Markets app, if you can see the last update of this app was done on March 19th, 9th, 2017. Generally, IFL updated the mobile app uh, in a frequency range of four weeks to five weeks, which is relatively okayish as far as the industry standard is concerned. They can definitely pitch that up and make it even quicker. The app, as we discussed, has been downloaded by around 10 lakh people. Overall, it's a recommendable app. We can certainly recommend you to go ahead and do the mobile trading through IFL Markets mobile app. If you want to check the complete details about this particular mobile application, you can uh, have a look at this page. We will be putting out uh, the link of uh, this particular web page in the video description for you. 
if we come back to the trading platforms for IFL the third one is trader terminal web now this is a web based application we don't need to download or install anything we just need to go to a browser it could be chrome internet explorer firefox or safari go to that page go to that link put in your valid credentials and you can start uh, your trading now this particular application is responsive in nature basically that means that you can use this particular web application across any device be it a mobile desktop laptop computer or a tablet it will be responsive and it will change its screen size automatically so this is also a decent performing uh, application and we can certainly go ahead and recommend you in case you are looking for a lighter version of a trading platform and if you talk about pricing well account opening um, at a trading level will charge you 750 rupees dmat account is charged at 555 so generally from the overall industry perspective these charges do look expensive then as far as amc or annual maintenance charges are concerned for dmat account you need to pay 300 rupees every year and trading account does not charge you anything so overall pricing uh, from pricing standpoint ifl does look expensive but the kind of values they provide the kind of services do they provide they can be a little uh, justified on that aspect too if you look at brokerage now there are multiple plans they have as we discussed at the very start so they've got a variable brokerage plan a flat one and then a value added subscription plan let's talk about these different plans in detail so we are using artistoblogger.com for reference again on this uh, just bear with me this might get a little complicated but we'll try to go through as easily as possible so the first plan is variable brokerage plan where you need to look at the overall transaction volume for that particular month you generated for example if your overall transaction volume was less than 1 lakh rupees in that case for delivery you need to pay brokerage at 0.6% if it fell in the range of 1 to 5 lakh rupees 0.55% is your brokerage correspondingly the values go down as you improve or increase the number of uh, the capital that you are putting on the stock market so similarly if you look at other segments they are also affected by the kind of uh, transaction volume that had uh, gone through for that particular month then it is a flat brokerage plan which really does not depend on anything it just goes uh, as uh, it is irrespective of the kind of initial deposit you put uh, or the kind of transaction you see uh, on the stock market for a particular month you will be charged 0.5% for delivery 0.05% uh, for intraday you might be able to negotiate on that but you won't be able to get a lot uh, from that particular negotiation uh, with the executive then there is a value added subscription plan now this is this is a subscription sort of a plan where you need to pay a non refundable fees which is applicable for the whole year and uh, depending on the kind of money you pitch in the corresponding broker charge will be generated let's see some examples here so if you go for the default plan we don't pay anything for the subscription your account opening fee stands at 750 rupees your delivery brokerage is as flat as 0.5 percent similarly if you put in 2500 rupees for that particular year then of course you need to pay some tax on it your uh, account opening fees will be levied you don't need to pay that so that's one advantage and your brokerage will be going down to 0.35 percent so definitely there is an improvement uh, there for you similarly if you go ahead and keep on doing it if you improve for example go to 15,000 slab then you need to pay a brokerage of delivery at 0.2 percent so you're seeing a big sort of drastic change and there are other plans for heavy traders and it can go up to 1 lakh rupees of subscription for the whole year where you need to pay a brokerage as low as 0.07% for delivery so it's very very flexible and the kind of uh, trader you are the kind of money you uh, go through in the stock market definitely has a lot to do in the kind of brokerage you're going to pay to IIFL so from brokerage let's move to exposure for people who don't understand the concept basically it's a loan provided by your store broker at a specified percentage of interest for example in case you have trading account balance of 10,000 rupees in case of IIFL you can trade up to 2 lakh rupees for intraday and 30,000 for delivery because they've got 20 times up to 20 times remember exposure for intraday and three times for delivery respectively in other segments as well they give you a minuscule sub amount of exposure there are other stock broking firms that provide you much better exposure rates but as far as intraday is concerned it's a definitely decent uh, sort of a number you can go ahead with that particular number if you are looking to trade in intraday level moving ahead if we talk about positives and negatives of opening an account with IFL well we have talked about different things for example we have talked about the trading 
offering platform is one of the biggest USPs uh, they've got. We've talked about the offline presence they've got uh, in uh, around 4,000 locations through their sub broker and franchise offices. The kind of trading products and investment products they have for you available which you can use uh, for yourself. And the mobile app is definitely one of the best performing in uh, the industry right now. Some of the concerns at the same time there are, um, as we discussed initially, mutual fund investments are a little cumbersome. Um, there is a way to do that, but through IFL you might find a difficult time while you're doing it. Um, as far as working with the relationship manager, full service stock brokers provide you a lot of uh, um, services like research reports, trading calls, recommendations. So IFL does a decent job there, but when it comes to relationship manager who is basically handling your portfolio for you, there uh, the overall quality is uh, at an average level. So definitely you need to uh, work on these aspects before you open uh, an account with IFL. Other than that, it's a good uh, sort of a full service stock broker. If depends on the kind of preferences you have and based on that you can pick uh, or not pick IFL. However, if you want to have a word, a basic word with uh, an executive from India Infoline, what you can do is check out this link rdistroblogger.com slash India Infoline IIFL open demit account. Put in your details there and we will set up a call back for you from IFL. However, in case you're looking for a particular stock broker that goes exactly with your preferences, what you can do is check out this other link rdistroblogger.com slash free call back broker choice. Put in your preferences there. Put in your details there and we will set up a call back for you as per those requirements. So this is it for the video. Thank you so much for watching it. We hope you liked it. In case you did, please go ahead and press the thumbs up button. We'll really appreciate that. You can also subscribe to our channel, a Digital Blogger at YouTube for similar videos in the future. Thank you so much for watching the video again. Bye-bye.